Hey everybody, today I'm Henry Satus. I'm going to show you how to make Persian style beef pirashki. Let's get straight into it. So we'll start off by placing half a cup of yogurt into a bowl, half a cup of warm milk. Make sure it's warm so it works out quicker or else it will take a long time for the yeast to activate. And finally, one sachet of yeast. And we just want to give that a quick mix. And then we'll add half a cup of white sugar and mix that for a little bit. So guys, once it's all dissolved like that, we want to leave this here for it to activate. This should take about 10 to 15 minutes. Now just into a pot, we're going to start by adding in 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil, just on a medium heat. And add in 1 diced brown onion. Now add in 2 crushed garlic cloves. And we just want to cook this until all the onions are brown. Now we're going to add in 500 grams of beef mince. Now you can use lamb mince if you prefer, that's just up to you. Once your meat has started to brown, add in 1 tablespoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of curry powder, and one tablespoon of tomato paste. And we just want to combine all that together. Now at this point you can reduce your heat to a low. And finally we'll add in a half a handful of chopped fresh mint. If you don't like the taste of mint, you can substitute it for parsley. And we'll stir that through too. Now once your meat has completely cooked through, we'll turn our heat off. Now add in one tablespoon of salt. And one tablespoon of baking powder. Now we're going to start by adding in 2 cups of plain flour. And we just want to mix this through. And all we want to do is create a nice smooth dough. Once that's all mixed up, we'll add another cup of flour. And mix that through too. We're just going to knead it and ensure you pick up all the remaining on the side too. So you should end up with a nice dough ball like that. So we're just going to knead this for about 2 minutes. Now just place some flour in your bowl and we're going to place our dough ball straight in the middle. And we'll just cover it with some cling wrap. And we're going to leave this in a warm place to rise for about an hour and a half. And then we can move on. So after an hour and a half, your dough should have expanded like that. To test if it's ready, just knock it. As you can see, it's nice and soft. And it leaves indentations like that. So that's ready. So we're just going to knock it down. And get that yeast out. Just like so. So our dough is ready to use now. So just onto a board, you just want to flour it and bring your dough straight up. Now we're just going to half our dough just so we can create equal pieces to make up here, Ashki. Half the half again. So I've just half mine again, so I've got 12 pieces all together. Now, obviously, you can do them as big as you want. That's just up to you. It's going to come out the same. It's just a matter of how big you want them. So, we'll do one piece at a time. So, ensure your work surface is floured constantly. And just in your hand, you want to roll it into a bowl. So, ensure you're tucking it underneath like that. And then just roll it like that. And place it in the middle of your board. 
Uh, we'll place some flour on top, and using a rolling pin, you just want to roll it out. Just like that. Make sure you flip it over as well, don't just roll it on one side only. So just like that. So the basic idea is, we're going to put our filling in, fold it over like that, and crimp it. And it's simple as that. So just onto one half, I'm going to spread our Piroshki mixture, just like that. Because it's very important not to overflow it. You might think that's not a lot, but it actually is. And then from the top, flip it over like that, push down on the sides, and then we're just going to crimp it together like that, using your fingers. You can use a fork if you like, that's up to you. So that's one of our Piroshkis done. So we'll set that aside, and then we'll just continue making the rest. So I've put them onto two trays, as I didn't have enough space. So all we need to do now, is just cover these with some cling wrap. Make sure they're covered so they don't go dry. And we just want to leave these for about half an hour so they rise. And in the meantime, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Now just into a small bowl, crack in one egg. And add in about half a cup of milk. And we just want to give that a quick mix, get it evenly combined. Now what we're going to do now, is just brush our egg wash onto each of our piroshkis. Make sure you give it a good covering, especially in the area where it's crimped as it'll act like a glue. So guys, straight into the oven at 180 degrees. We're looking for a total cooking time of anywhere between 22 to 25 minutes. It obviously depends on the size of your piroshkis, as well as your oven itself, but we want a golden brown colour basically. Okay, and there we have it guys. I uh, personally left mine for 30 minutes, and as you can see I've got that golden brown colour out of it. So it is dependent on your oven. So show what it looks like inside, of course. And right, just look at that. But it's simple as that. I hope you like that guys. Please like and subscribe. If you've got any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.